Hi guys, this is Alex from Stiebel Eltron Energy Campus again. Today I want to show you why a buffer cylinder is a good choice. Here um, I have a screen from our Energy Campus Navigator and I would like to show you now why a buffer cylinder is a good idea and why it's good for the efficiency of your system. What do we see at the moment? I have started my heat pump, it's a WPL10, it's placed here outside and on the screen we can see that we have a flow rate at the moment of 19.7 liters per minute. The return temperature at the moment is 24 degrees no, 25 degrees and the flow temperature is 24. This is because of we are taking now the cold water out of the buffer cylinder and sending the warm water from the heat pump back. And you see that the heat pump is not really working yet. So it has started a few seconds ago and we are consuming in this moment two kilowatts of electrical power. But we don't produce heat. What is changing now in this moment? So the heat pump is now starting working and we have a warmer flow rate temperature than return temperature. So our energy meter, which is a very high efficient one in this case, is starting to measuring real data. Here you can see that our COP is increasing at this moment and the system now is starting to, uh, to optimize the setting of the expansion valve. So when the heat pump is starting, it always starts with a preset of the expansion valve and uh, now it needs a bit time to find the right adjustment, the best adjustment for it. What we can see at the moment is that we are still consuming our 2 kilowatts and the heat pump is producing almost 8.1 kilowatts of heat, which is a COP of almost 4. Quite nice. Now we keep the unit running a little bit and then I will show you some figures that are may be interesting for you. So now I'm back and you see that our timer here is now on five minutes. So the heat pump is now running five minutes in total. Um, have a look on the data. We have consumed electrical energy from the supplier 178 watt hours. With this 178 or 180 watt hours, we have produced almost 600 watt hours of energy. 413 watt hours we have taken out of our source. So this plus this is this and this plus this gives us also our efficiency of in total a COP of 4.5 at the moment. What is important and why I do this little movie is when I go to this here because here you can see the average COP since starting and you see that my unit in this moment has a COP of 4.6 which is brilliant but the average since start is only 3.4. What I would like to tell you with that is, always when the heat pump is starting, we have exactly this situation. The heat pump starts, in the beginning the COP is quite poor, and uh, after a certain running time, when the circuit has adjusted and set everything fine, then the COP becomes very good, and uh, this is what we need to or what we get all the time. The problem is that the starting efficiency is always taken in consideration to the average efficiency. And so as longer the heat pump can run, as better the average COP or the average efficiency will be. And that's why a buffer cylinder is always helping you because with a buffer cylinder the heat pump can run at least 15, 20 minutes longer than without. So with a buffer cylinder, the system only has to react on the changes of the temperatures. When uh, you have a buffer cylinder, then the flow rate from the heat pump to the buffer can always be on the same level. And this is very, very comfortable for the heat pump. The heating circuit on the other side is changing the flow rates by opening and closing valves. And so this change in flow rate does not have any bad influence on our efficiency of the heat pump. That's why a buffer is always a good idea and, as I said, that's physics. Bye-bye. <laughs>